In this video, I will show you how to download CapCut in Laptop. This should be a quick and easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Now to go ahead and download CapCut, the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to your taskbar at the bottom when you're on your desktop and in the search box, you want to go ahead and type store. Then what you want to do is open up the Microsoft store. That should now be shown up underneath best match. And once the store has opened and loaded through, come up to the search box at the top and in the search box, go ahead, type CapCut and then hit enter. On the search results you should now see CapCut showing up so of course what you can do is give that a click to be taken to the app page and then all you need to do is click the blue install button so it's just going to take a minute or two now to get things ready and download and install on your laptop as you can see CapCut has now finished installing you can see it says installed by default CapCut will be added to your desktop as you can see here as a desktop shortcut so what we can do is double click to open this on your laptop and what it's going to do is test the environment so it's basically going to configure CapCut to run at the best possible performance dependent on your laptop specs. As you can see in my case it says my computer can run CapCut smoothly so at this point just go ahead click confirm. What that's going to do is open up CapCut on your PC and then all you need to do is agree and continue to the terms of service and privacy policy and then you can just click on to create project and get started with your video editing and making projects on CapCut. So that is how to download CapCut in laptop. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.